Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I kind of slept in here, but I'm f right out of the shower, fresh as a daisy everywhere, ready to play. <laughs> so what I think I'm going to do here is, because all the other ones are done at the Star Tournament, well, you know, aside from this one, but there isn't any change to the course, so I don't really know about playing it on camera or anything like that. I think I'm gonna do a little, little something here. Yeah, the club slots, and I'll even show you a little variation of it. There's a four slots thingy here. Ooh, what is this? Well, you'll find out soon enough. And I'll even play tournament greens, star course, yada yada yada. Yeah, you, you see the settings. Here we go. <laughs> so it's gonna be like the ultimate in course difficulty and randomization, so... Yeah, oh no, not the star! <laughs> I, I, it would be nice if I got three stars, but... You now you notice that there's this fourth side, you've never seen anything like that, have you? Well, you can double the points for this hole. What are the points? Well, you get different amounts of points... I should actually be aiming for this pipe for once. Uh, you, got, you get different amounts of points depending on how well you score on the hole. So it's not necessarily about, like... Well, I mean, I guess it is about birdies and stuff like that, but, you know, the better you do on a hole, the the more points you get. But if you do horrendously on a hole, it won't outright kill you, <laughs> is what I'm saying. So this is, this is like a different sort of mode going on here. Different kind of pointages we're playing with, and... Oh, that was... Yeah. <laughs> I didn't put it nearly as far back as I needed to, but... I'm on the green in regulation, so I should be able to at least par this. And I'll flop it over over to the left a good amount. Yeah! Woo! So with the double points, yep, three points for a birdie and the double points that I got on the final on the slot wheel. We got more points than that. So it it has a bit of a luck element to it, which is kind of iffy-ish in my opinion, because you know how I am with luck-based elements, but eh, I thought I would show you this mode anyway because you you do have the potential if you're like shooting ridiculously low and you're you're getting a lot of the double points on the slots to get ridiculously high finishing scores. And in this case, I'm just gonna go over the pipe and shoot over to the green. Well, as normally as I possibly can in such in such uh, low club conditions. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do Super Baxman, and see how things turn out! I mean, I mishit that, so it's a little left of target, but that's not, that's not too bad. I wanna get this, yeah, more aligned. You know what I'm going for here, I know you know what I'm going for here. Since I already got a low enough club, I don't have to change it, nor could I really change it anyway. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. I don't know if the extra power shots are all that useful compared to stuff like no win, the double points, and stuff like that. You know, oh shoot, no, not the star again. Eh. Oh, oh, you can mulligans are really useful. That that allows you to replay any horrendous shots that may happen. Oh yeah, they can't do the whole power then club down thing. <laughs> I forgot this is club slots. Woo! And I don't think that's gonna hit the box, but and. Eh, Hold it, hold it, hold it! <laughs> we're good, we're good. And continue. But one thing about the mulligan thing is that you gotta click through it, because it'll ask you if you want a mulligan after every shot, unless you actually end up in the hole. So it actually is kind of cumbersome. But if you know that it's coming, you know, you can, you can click through it if you like your shot really rapidly, so... And, oh shoot! Well, oh yeah, perfect sweet spot with auto swing. I could show you that pretty easily. So like, let's say you just decide to do auto swing here instead. Oh, we're gonna get perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I got that in the pipe though, because if I didn't make it in the... Oh no! <laughs> I was gonna say, if I didn't make it in the pipe, that would have been... Uh, it's gonna be a problem. Maybe this would be a good time to uh, try that mulligan feature. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it actually looks like I am actually hitting it into the side of the pipe, so maybe that's not such a good idea. Unless I, oh, eh, let's try it there, just just for kicks. See how it turns out. <laughs> Who knows how it'll turn out. Ah, uh, nope, it went right through the pipe. Well, 
technically it's over the pipe, but again, you can't really tell the sprite uh, on this overhead view and whatnot. <laughs> But yeah, the club slots with the, the bonuses and stuff that you can get from the slots and, you know, mulligans, no wind, etc, etc. Uh, you can you can really get some interesting score turnouts out of this. And uh, I'm gonna have to really do my best <laughs> to keep it on the green here. Yeah, Super Backspin. That's to the right, but it's still gonna be on the green because, yeah, Super Backspin, there's a lot of green to work with there. That actually turned out pretty well. <laughs> Maybe I didn't play for enough break on the green when I did my alignment on the stinker. Well, I got it. <laughs> Three points for the birdie! Hmm. I'm scared. Oh! <laughs> because, yeah, I needed a longer club for this one, and, well... Well, I'm not, not getting it, am I? Well... I could use one of my extra power shots, I guess, and well, I, I didn't need to actually lose it, but I, I am actually using one to see if I can get the most out of this as possible. See, that's not... the middle wheel doesn't usually give you something very high, so <laughs> I'm, hitting it, I'm hitting it to the green here with a 7 iron, and it's not really going to hit into the green because, you know, but I can hit into the box. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Maybe we can knock down the wind and make the... Uh, nope, got power shot. I thought maybe we could uh, knock down the wind and uh, make our approach shot easier, but the sandwich actually will make things make things a whole lot easier, come, come to think of it. So, kind of happy that I got a nice, high, lofted club that I'm comfortable with hitting into the green. Like, look at that. Oh, so comfortable. <laughs> but, you know, it still took me three to get here because of club slots, so... That's the name of the game with club slots. And powers are worth two points. Oh yeah. Bogies are worth is one, uh, one point. Anything below that is zero points. So, yeah, it's uh, no win for the hole! Yeah! Oh, that's pretty nice, actually, because it would have been 11 mile per hour of wind. So, yeah, now I'm going to try hitting through that box just to see what the poop I get. Because <laughs> why not? No, yeah, wind, like wind change matters when there's no wind. Oh, I went to zero. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, oh, no, oh, oh, guess I gotta use the six iron. Uh, I, I would prefer hitting more to the right of the hole here because there's more flat spot. So, oh, I missed it to the right, but th that might not matter too much. I think it's gonna end up in the right side. Oh, no, I was gonna say maybe it's gonna end up in the right side rough, but no, 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 that's okay. I can live with that. <laughs> Uh Oh! Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> it was it was in putt mode, so... Three points! For a birdie! It's technically a chip-in, and... And... Driver, six iron, eight iron, power shots! <clears throat> Getting stuff like double points or a mulligan is much rarer on the wheel. <laughs> so, you, you can't really expect that a lot. But when you, when you do get lucky enough to get it a lot, your scores can soar. Just like my ball bouncing off that ridge. Um, I wonder if I should have tried to go in that pipe. I don't know. Because I, I still think I can make the green in two here. Because I got the driver off the, off the, sh uh, off the bat there. So I'm just stuttering here in my words. I'm so excited to have a driver. But <laughs> I guess... Go up, go up, go up! Yeah! Right on the flat spot. Now, in theory, as long as I don't overhit it with the power, I should be able to make this putt. And that should drop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, even the long putts are trivial when you're on the flat spot, and there's enough flat spot to plop around on. Ocarina green here, though. Not so much, but eh, we'll see. Ooh, no wind. But unfortunately, I gotta use the forward, so... Uh, super backspin time! Oh shit! No, no, no. <laughs> Slide my finger properly enough. Ah. Well, that might work out because yeah, I hit the rough, but eh, mm, eh. I guess my under hit just turned out pr pretty nice after all. So I will accept this birdie with open arms. <laughs> Hold line and. Not the halfway mark. Well, little pat. I mean, not quite past the halfway mark. But we're we're close. That's close enough. I wonder if I should try going. Nah, I got a low shot. I was gonna say, see if I can try going in the pipe, but eh, 
I think what I'm going to do here is actually hit into the ridge and bounce it to that left patch of fairway just past the pipe. Just so that I can kind of control my... Oh, no, don't bounce like that. Oh! <laughs> I'm on the side side hill pooper. Um, you know, a bottle shot means nothing, I forgot. <laughs> it only means something on, on issues of longness. <laughs> like when club slots are just... Not working in my favor for the clubs that I need to make the greens. Oh! <laughs> I really stuck it there. <laughs> like, you know, it's just, it's just stopped there because it didn't have much spin due to the, uh, you know, having to use a, a low lofted club. But that actually worked quite well in that. Oh, extra power shot. <laughs> I'm at 10 now. <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to run out of power shots at this rate. And control the spin, because I don't want it to go down into said valley over there, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of put it in a happy spot, and the wind changes to... Oh, it made it worse! Well, actually, maybe not, because it's going to make my ball come in at a higher trajectory. Uh, well, although I'm hitting in with a 4 iron, so <laughs> maybe it won't help that much. We'll see what the fate of club slots will lead me to. Another nice stopper there. And another birdie. Woo! Yeah, even uh, the Marion course with the, the mushroom elements, you know, the star elements, like putting the mushroom. Oh, shoot! <laughs> putting the mushroom kingdom elements and ad the additions of the club slots really, really makes things not that much harder. <laughs> I mean, it's it's still Marion at the end of things, and since there's no wind on you know, this particular hole, that makes things even easier, probably. Um, you know what I should do? <laughs> I'm gonna get more distance if I manage to hit in the pipe with a sandwich. So, <laughs> sure, why not? Let's see, it, let's see if it just plop it in there. And it... But what did that do? It hit the did it hit the top of the pipe? I don't. I don't know! <laughs> well, I failed to get my distance, but I don't know how I missed the pipe at such a close distance. I don't know. I'm gonna go for the blue one now! Because <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment. I gotta recover somehow, right? There we go! <laughs> so I'm still not anywhere near the green in regulation, but I'm trying my best to recover. And yeah, that was weird that the sand didn't go in there. You know, I had a high lofting shot that the line looked like it was going in there. But nope, nope, nope. Decided not to. <laughs> it, did, it did something. I, I think I might have hit the top of the pipe, which I don't think I've ever done before in any playthrough or any run of anything ever in this game. Uh, because you just, you know, I'm aiming for the center of the pipe, and it, you, it seems like you either go in it or you don't. But in that case, it looked like that I... Oh, shoot. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I only got the six iron. I'll hit out of bounds if I hit there, so... I better make this one good. <laughs> because it's just gonna plop in and stop whenever... If it lands out of bounds. Ooh! <laughs> that was close. That's okay, though. I I'm not gonna re-hit that because I don't think I can do better with a mulligan. Um... I'm getting out of approach shot for one thing. I need to be a little bit more power here. Uh, that's not really being offered to me in approach mode. And there we go, onto the flat spot, and I'll be able to make power there. And yeah, I'm just gonna click through the mulligan. Don't really need it. As I said, if you know the mulligans are coming, you just click right through it rather rapidly. And although if you're if you're uh, clicking it like thinking that you're gonna click it like press down and click into it quickly I would be a little more careful though like if you wanted to take a mulligan or something because maybe you won't actually move over and down and <laughs> you won't actually take that mulligan and you'll end up leaving yourself in the spot that you didn't want to be so uh, yeah just if you want to take a mulligan just take a little extra time to make sure you get your mulligan um, uh, I don't think this is gonna work but <laughs> But let's see if, well, maybe it will, because there's a lot of flat spot going on here. Uh, I'll hit it way back onto the fairway there, and regular backspin. <laughs> I think that's going to be fine for the runout. Uh, well, yeah, that's good. 
I just didn't want to overdo it and end up down one of the ridges or something like that. So yeah, no mulligan, let's just birdie the stinker and move on. Yeah, so as you can tell, the, the club slots, as it said, it makes you the mastery of improvisation, I guess you could say. And that because you're you're always trying to make the best score with what you have. Chances are you'll never ever get a perfect score. Because you'd have to get birdies on every hole, or, or eagles on every hole, and you'd also have to get the double points on every hole, so... Yeah, that, that's the thing, but it, it's still a fun mode to play, just to see what the poop will come out of it. Like, it's not it's not a serious kind of mode, it's more of like... It's more of like a mode just to kind of spice things up a little bit. And, uh, since you're playing it on every single hole in the game, like, you have the potential to play it on every single hole in the game, it's, it's a lot different than having the preset holes that are kind of, you know, club slot friendly. Like, just think of, say, the 16th hole on Peach's course, you know, the, the mushroom course. Yeah, I was thinking of Peach, Peach's Castle Grounds there for a second, but that, that's Toadstool Tour. <laughs> but yeah, just think of having, like, say, a sandwich only to play that hole. Is it even possible to make it through that hole? With just a sandwich? I don't know. I mean, you can increase the size of the greens type landing area by using one of those play panels, but I don't know if you could actually get to where it is because it's such a long shot. Especially if you use a character that has, say, a lower drive distance. So it's it's really kind of kind of dicey how things will turn out. <laughs> and you might end up taking a really, really high score in a hole, too. And I might have overhit that. Oh, I did! <laughs> I let that go to... Oh, I clicked through! I wanted the mulligan! That, that's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> if you click through too quickly, but I was talking too much about other things that I kind of... kind of distracted myself. But yeah, uh, so the club slots can lead to some really fun, interesting, even funny situations. Uh, well, maybe not every round, but if you play it enough, you'll you'll come across something that'll give you a good chuckle or two. I'm not gonna go in the pipe because I'm <laughs> having pipe trouble today, clearly. And I figured I'm fine with the three wood anyway. And oh, actually, the five iron won't be too bad hitting into the green with. Uh, I'm just gonna super backspin this sucker. And yeah, I can land it relatively close to the hole on the flat spot because the super backspin will control it. See that? Yeah. So it's, it's pretty safe to drop it where I did it and stop it and even pull it back. And then get your birdie. <laughs> and uh, basically what I'm going through here on the club slots is because you're going to end up having different results in the slots that I am. What I'm basically trying to show you here is what the poop you can do in various situations. Like, if you're playing club slots on your own, and you have to improvise on various things, and I missed it, that's it's going to the right a little bit, but that's okay. But yeah, um, so if, like, if you have a club that's not ideal for the particular hole, like, you, you don't have enough distance, or you don't have a wedge or something like that, you're gonna have to hit in with a lower shot, or... You're gonna have to try and scramble for power from a longer distance, and I'm I'm trying to kind of show you different. Oh shoot, I got a star. <laughs> I'm trying to show you diff different methods on how to pull this off, if possible. So yeah, I thought that th it would be kind of interesting to go through all the courses like this and just see how things turn out. And anyway, this is the finale here, the 18th hole, and I don't think I can get on the green in two unless I do some really fancy shenanigans with the pipes, but as I said, considering that I'm not really hitting into the pipes all that well, probably because Luigi here has a pretty low trajectory. Ooh, I'm actually going to mulligan that, but yeah, um, I wanted to be a little closer to the, the side there, but yeah, because I have such a low trajectory, it's, it's kind of dicey to get into the greens at a nice safe spot. And oh shoot, I think I was actually better off in the rough. Well. I used my mulligan, so it's too late now. I'm just gonna try regular backspin because of the green sloping away from me, and uh, see how this turns out. I think it's gonna be okay. Eh, that's not actually okay. I might have actually costed myself with the mulligan. So yeah, the mulligans are not not a guaranteed thing to give give yourself a birdie if you use a mulligan. Oh, I pulled it off anyway. 
but yeah, um, so if a mulligan turns out into having a worse shot, because you don't pull it off, you know, it's, it's not really helpful anyway. So sometimes you might want to choose the shot that you think is worse and just go with it, like, like there, but, eh, I don't know, I just had a mulligan to use and I thought I would go for it. I got 57 points. See what you can get, and, uh, I guess, you know, Post a video response that you can't link to the video and you can link to in the comments. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to end off uh, the part here, and I'd like to see your high scores, if you'd like to. <laughs> Hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part.